blue catfish are thriving in the murky tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. The only problem, they aren't supposed to be there. The blue catfish is, is not native to Chesapeake Bay. It was brought here beginning in the 1970s by Virginia as a new uh, opportunity for recreational sport fishing because it's large and fun to catch. Smithsonian scientists and several other groups have been tackling the problem. With few natural predators, blue catfish have overwhelmed the bay's ecosystem, threatening native species including the ever popular blue crabs. Besides pollution, this would be the biggest environmental threat I think the Chesapeake Bay faces. One solution, a Maryland-based supplier is turning the threat into a tasty offering. It has all the correct buzzwords. It is local. It is rated now by the Blue Ocean Institute, it's sustainable, and it is a good cause to uh, take this fish out of the water and out of the ecosystem. In just one year, Congressional Seafood went from zero to purchasing about 20,000 pounds of wild blue catfish a week, netting another source of revenue for small, independent fishermen. The company says that's only a drop in the bucket. Maryland officials agree much more needs to be done to get the population under control. We don't want to manage this fishery. We want to knock it down to the lowest level possible and then keep it at that level. So far, supermarket chain Whole Foods and local restaurants have gotten hooked on the fish. Chefs say the wild catfish has a firmer, flaky texture and can be pan seared instead of fried. It's exciting. The flavor is, is, is awesome. Uh, it's fun to cook with. It, it has a lot of uh, uh, qualities that you wouldn't expect from a farm-raised catfish. Qualities that may catch on with consumers. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.